congratulations with your new easy charging robot. Inside the box you will find a backplate with a tool for opening the charger attached to the back, the charge bay containing the electronics and the integrated RCD type B, front cover, installation kit and manuals. Open the charging robot. Insert the two ends of the included tool into the two openings. Pull until it comes loose. Grasp the connector and push forcefully upwards until the charge bay disconnects. With Easy Home, you can mount up to three chargers on the same circuit. Use the screws in the installation kit and appropriate wall plugs. Turn off the power before continuing. Prepare the back plate. We recommend using a three-phase cable to make the installation future-proof. The product is designed for cable entry at the top. It is taken into account that water can enter if the gaskets do not seal completely. The cable entry can also be from the back or the bottom. Fit the sealing plug on the cable before connecting in the back plate. Strip back all cable cores allowing 12 mm exposed conductor. When needed, use cable end sleeves on all wires. Secure the sheath of the cable with a strain relief. Close all holes not used for cable entry with the blind sealing plugs. Tighten the screws with a torque of 5 Newton meters. Inspect all terminations before mounting the electronics. Follow these instructions to connect the backplate to different power grids. TN network, TN1 phase, TN3 phase, IT network, IT1 phase, IT3 phase. If you have more than one charging robot, each termination port can be used as a connection point for the chargers on the same circuit. When all backplates are prepared, the power can be turned on. If your installation have more than two charging robots, start with inserting a charge barrier into the backplate in the center of the installation. When the charge barrier has reached the bottom, push it hard down until you hear a click. A yellow light will now be flashing in the bottom of the light strip. This indicates that the charge barrier is empty and waiting to be configured. This backplate will become the master and the charge bay installed in this backplate will always have two white LEDs lid when in standby. Configuration. Start the configuration by holding down the touch button for 5 seconds until the light strip turns green. The charger has now started sharing its local Wi-Fi network. Use a smartphone to connect to the easy Wi-Fi network. Make sure to keep the Wi-Fi connection and not switch to mobile data when connecting to the charging robot. Then open the browser and enter 192.168.4.1. Now choose your language. You will now be asked to enter PIN code. This is found on the front of the charge battery. Fill in the values for the main fuse, circuit fuse and circuit number. Sign off this step with entering company name and the phone number. The charging robot has an integrated eSIM that automatically connects it to the internet if there is coverage. However, by connecting it to your local Wi-Fi network, you will get all new updates and have instant live data when using the Easy app. If you only have one charging robot, the configuration is now done. Start by moving the configured charge battery to the next empty backplate and wait for the light strip to turn green. Repeat this for all empty backplates on the same circuit. All backplates have to be programmed in order for the load balancing to work. When all backplates are programmed, plug in the remaining charge barriers or leave some empty to establish an easy ready installation. All secondary units will have one white lead lid when in standby. At any time in the future, an easy ready installation can be upgraded to a full featured charging robot in just a few minutes without the use of an electrician. Each pin code sticker is then pasted to the back of the user guide or in another safe location, for instance, on the fuse in the fuse cabinet. Lock the charge battery. 
Hang the front cover at the top of the back plate and let it fall into place. Press at the bottom until you hear a click. Bend the lower part of the rubber cover down and screw in the last screw. Safe travels!